working in the domestical south, from the shining east and the dynamic central zone, our ladies have come in their festive regalia to extol the virtues of the Ilocana. Ladies and gentlemen, the candidates in their La Milagrosa Festival costumes. Cascade of beauty and grace. Our 23 Miss Ilocos Nordic candidates all ready for stardom. Let us meet our host, Ilocos Nordic's finest, Mr. Matthew Marcos Manoto, Mr. Ancher Kua, and Miss Ilocos Nordic 2014, second runner-up, Princess Raihani Sale. Indeed, it's a great time to be in Ilocos Norte where the beauty of the landscape is matched only by the wonderful character of every Ilocano at Ilocana. Tonight is truly special as we shall again witness the fable beauty and timeless brilliance of the Ilocana. But this is not your ordinary beauty competition. Tonight, we celebrate our heritage and the transformation that Ilocos Norte has achieved. This is Miss Ilocos Norte 2015. Earlier, nasaksihan natin ang Grand La Milagrosa Festival Costume Parade. And for the last two weeks, our candidates have been battling it out in the preliminary events. Now I know that everybody is making predictions on who might win the crown tonight. It's still a long way to go though, but just to let our audience know, Miss Ilocos Norte will not just go home with a crown and a sash, but also a scholarship award from the provincial government of Ilocos Norte. Indeed, education is one of the priorities of our governor, Honorable Ali R. Marcos, because we all kind of know well that this is the best pathway out of poverty. Kaya nga dito sa Ilocos Norte, nag-level up na ang efforts when it comes to education. We have success, successful, successfully gone beyond classroom, age, and place. We have made this possible with the help of our Ilocano youth volunteers from the Sirib Ilocano Kabataan Association, or SICA. Tunay nga na Sirib, iso tibilag di masakbayan. That is why we are committed in training our Ilocano youth to become the future leaders of our province and the country as well. But of course, aside from the scholarship grants, the winners will also have the opportunity to promote the welfare of our province through their wit and charm. As a runner-up nga, kung saan-saan na ako nakarating bilang spokesperson ng ating provincia. Each of our candidates has an advocacy. And by winning the crown, they will have more resources to further their work for the benefit of our people. Matthew, what are your expectations for this evening? Well, judging from the festival costume showdown, I'm sure it's going to be one tough night for all of our contestants. Not only tonight, but even in the pageant preliminaries held last week, our contestants have only given their best. Tama. So let's get to know our judges who will have the very significant task of helping us choose our Miss Ilocos Norte 2015. Let's welcome our co-hosts and social media correspondents, Estella Gaspar and Denise Naknak. A dazzling evening, Ilocos Norte! Talagang puspusa ng labanan ngayong gabi here at Centennial Arena. And so we're very glad to have a distinguished panel of judges to help us choose Miss Ilocos Norte 2015. Yes, we're already handa na ang mga cell phones, ang inyong mga Facebook because we will be closing our voting later on. But for the meantime, I'm bringing you back to our equally dashing debonairs, Matt, and of course, Ansher. Maraming salamat, Stella and Denise. Wow, talagang big time ang ating mga hurado this year. Of course. Of course, dahil big time din naman ang ating mga contestants. And I'm sure hindi sila magpapatalo, not only here but in other levels of competition. Yan, yung fighting spirit na yan ang damang daman natin dito sa Ilocos Norte ngayon with the visionary leadership of our own governor, 
Honorable Ivy R. Marcos. We have truly become a thriving province and a key destination for tourism and investment in Southeast Asia. At nakikita natin how Ilocanos continue to rediscover and reinvent themselves. And just when you think you've seen it all, no, there's more. And that is what we shall see in the next round of competitions. Pinatunayan rin natin yan during the Himala sa Buhangin Art and Music Festival last May 1. Muli, naging blockbuster ang ating pagdiriwang kung saan pinasinayaan ang mga bagong attractions sa Ilocos Norte Sand Dunes, kagaya ng Ang Panday Sculpture at ang pinalaking sculpture park ni Leroy New. Up next is the final event in the pageant preliminaries. Highlighting the Pauai Sand Dunes with artist Leroy News, Sculpture Park. She is currently taking up Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communications Engineering. She's really, really loving her family so much and she's very, very proud to represent one of the province's pride in tourist destinations, Municipality of Pagupur. Miss Ilocos Norte 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2015 Miss Ilocos Norte Evening Gown Competition.
Viva la Virgen Milagrosa! Viva na magaganda at nagmimilagrong mga kababaihan! Viva rin para sa probinsya, Pilocos Norte! Thank you, Just Ernina Kalakayarin, na ragsak kapalag fiesta, Ilocos Norte! Na ako ay sa iyo at ikay You have certainly carried yourselves well and exuded beauty in every way. But one of those who truly stood out and will make it to the finals is Miss San Nicolas! Miss San Nicolas, lovely Polo! Ladies and gentlemen, the judges pick for the top five. Let's give these five beautiful ladies a round of applause. So who will be this year's Miss Ilocos Norte? Well, let's find it out later on. Yeah? So may we now request uh, the four ladies to please proceed at the back for you, the isolation. Maswerte talaga ang mga mananalo na yung gabi. Most especially because of the scholarship grants which await both the first runner-up and Miss Ilocos Norte. So now our five finalists have yet to hurdle one more challenge before we crown our Miss Ilocos Norte 2015. This is the final question. So, papalalahanan lang natin ang lahat na kung graduate na ang nanalo, maaari niyang i-transfer ang scholarship grant sa isa sa kanyang kamag-anak. Tunay ngang sirib at edukasyon ang mandato natin dito sa Ilocos Norte. Tama ka dyan, Ansher. This is finally it. The final stretch towards the much coveted crown. The finalists are now isolated and we are ready for the final question that will come from the chair of the Board of Judges, Mr. International, Neil Perez. But before that, sir, uh, may we just uh, have a test if they can uh, hear us. Well, hello ladies, can you hear us? Hello? Hello? 
Well, I think, well, please uh, check the uh, headsets. Okay, can you hear? You hear us? Okay. Well, get ready. Smile and take a deep breath. Say a little prayer as we now begin the final question and answer portion. Of course, our first finalist, Miss Pagutput. So, how are you tonight, Miss Pagutput? I'm very blessed and excited. Well, um, I will also give you the opportunity to thank the people who are uh, supporting you for tonight's event. I want to thank all the people who are supporting you to for me tonight, especially my parents and my relatives there. Thank you. And especially to my hometown, Pagutpud. And also to each and every one of the Ilocanos here tonight. Thank you very much. Well, you have a very, uh, very many supporters here tonight. Okay, so let me start proceeding. Hello. Hello, Miss Pagutpud. Narinig mo ako? Okay. Here's your question. As an Ilocana, what are you most proud of? As an Ilocana, what are you most proud of? Thank you for that question. Good evening, everyone. As an Ilocana, I am very much proud of the rich biodiversity and natural resources Ilocos Norte has because it nurtures the people of Ilocos Norte to live and work. It gives them so it gives them money and products to sell to, to tourists that comes in Ilocos. That will be all. Thank you. Well, very well said, Ms. Pagutput. You may now step forward for the final evaluation. May we now call our second finalist, Miss Nawag. Hi, Miss Nawag. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great that I'm part of the top five. As an Ilocana, what I am most proud of is of our leaders because we know that we have leaders, such great leaders, that our province is now developing and our leaders are doing projects, developing more the province to be known and who knows that someday our province will be known very all over the world that's all you may step forward for your final evaluation well i think she's very nervous with that part well she answered it right okay let's proceed with our third finalist miss dingras Hello, Miss Tigras. How are you feeling tonight? I feel beautiful and stunning. Well, of course you are. Being an Ilocana is able to promote our province to the whole humanity. That would complete my answer. Thank you. Wow, okay. Please step forward for the final look. Now to our fourth finalist from Nueva Era. Hi, Miss Nueva Era. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great, sir. 
I am proud of being an Ilocana because we can go with the flow, with the changes, even though science and technology can invade us, we can go with the change because we are Ilocanos, the competitive, the globally competitive Ilocanos that Globally competitive Ilocanos, not only in, uh, in other regions, but in the whole, whole world. And that would be all, and thank you. Well, fully applauded. All right, Ms. Mabrera, please step forward for your final look. And let us now call on our last finalist, Miss San Nicolas. Hello, Miss San Nicolas. How are you feeling tonight? I am feeling very well, and I'm very excited for the question. Of course. Well, good luck. I am proud of our virtue of being united and competitive. Like um, as shown in this pageant, all municipalities have done their part in being competitive. In comp even though this is a competition, everyone has done their part and unity to make this pageant happen. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please step forward for the final evaluation. Thank you very much to the chair of our judges, Mr. Neil Perez, and congratulations to our finalists for doing a great job. Miss Ilocos Norte 2014, Ina Adina, has received a transferable scholarship grant and cash prize were also given to her. Being ambassadors for the province's advocacy on education, tourism, and youth affairs, the 2014 pageant queens have also graced a number of provincial as well as national events like the Manila Fame. Miss Ina and the third runner-up, Miss Sheena Dalo, were also given the privilege to rock fashion runways as models, such as designer Ryan Madamba's Abelissima collection at Sofitel Philippine Plaza. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winners of Miss Ilocos Norte 2014. From the city of Lawa, Sari. Good evening, ladies. Thank you for being with us tonight. Well, let's have a brief chat with Miss Ilocos Norte 2014. Hello, Ina. How are you? I'm good. So, now that your reign as Miss Ilocos Norte has ended, what are your plans for the next year? Besides continuing my career, I plan to go wherever opportunity will take me. And since this opportunity being Binibining Ilocos Norte 2014, I gained a lot of confidence. 
I learned to value and appreciate the value of time, friendship, and discipline. Well, we wish you luck with that, Ina. And sino naman ang gusto mong pasalamatan? I want to thank everyone who has been with me this rain, most especially to Sir Michael and me, Mom Shabil Farinas for giving me this opportunity to represent the Northern Golden Way, Lawag City and to Governor Aimee Marcus who makes and strives our province to make noticeable in our country and to my family and friends thank you so much for the love and support and to all the candidates I wish you all the best I, I give you my best wishes and I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my lovely gown for tonight, Miss Janie Lau, and for my makeup and hair, uh, Mr. RJ Asuncion. And that's, that will be all, and thank you. To God be all the glory. And thank you as well, Miss Ilocos Norte. Thank you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Miss Ilocos Norte winners, may we give them again a big round of applause.